Limiting beliefs. Firstly, what are they and why can they be so detrimental in life actually, but certainly when you're trying to grow and scale a business. And this is something that I learned through some of my own personal development, specifically the work I've done with Tony Robbins, because I didn't quite understand necessarily how I was thinking about things sometimes. And when I understood the, the power of limiting beliefs and what they can do to you, to what you're, what you're doing, what you're thinking about, then I realized actually it was something I needed to understand more and address. So firstly, let's understand what a belief is. Now, a belief, best definition I've heard, is it's a feeling of absolute certainty about something. So if you have a deep belief about something, it could be anything, it could be that you know God exists, it could be that uh, I can make anything happen in this world, whatever that belief is, that's the thing that gives you confidence, it gives you conviction to take the right action to get things done. And it's often people who have beliefs that are not limited by anything. You know, they honestly believe that they can achieve anything that they set their mind to. They're the ones who make extraordinary impact at, at you know, their lives, their businesses, in some cases, the world, depending on what those bigger missions uh, and visions are. So a limiting belief is really a self-imposed, I almost think of it like a prison cell. It's a container that you put around any of the things that you're trying to achieve. So you're limiting your ability because you are feeling that what you are trying to achieve, particularly for something big and feels a bit scary, is impossible. And quite often when I work with business founders and they're wanting to create something extraordinary, but they're right in the struggle zone, they're overwhelmed, they're burnt out, their business might have plateaued. It's often because they are putting some constraints around you know, what it is they're trying to do and they're doubting themselves that they can actually achieve it. It's funny, I don't talk a lot about mindset when I'm first meeting someone that's gonna work with me. I talk a lot about the skill set and the experience that they need to be able to take their business to the next level. But 70 to 80% of the issues that I have to deal with, the challenges that that entrepreneur is facing are all mindset issues. And if you go deeper, it comes down to limiting beliefs. And if you go deeper again, the stem or the root cause of all of this stuff is fear, fear, uncertainty, feeling that I am not good enough. I haven't got what it takes to achieve the goals and aspirations that I really want to achieve. So the obvious question that comes out of this is how do you get over limiting beliefs? How do you start to change that? Well, there's some interesting practices and some of them are a little bit out there. So bear with me. First and foremost, you've got to think about these things as programming. So often the beliefs that we have are being shaped for when we're younger, when we're children, it might be what our parents did. It's the stuff that you heard around the dinner table. And one for me when I was younger is that entrepreneurship is difficult. Entrepreneurship is hard. You, it's better to get a job. That's what you should do. And so that was programmed into me. And it wasn't what I wanted to do, but it was something that was so powerfully said in the environment that I was in. It was something that I then became to believe to be true. So to get out of that, I had to change my environment. I had to hang around other people who were more entrepreneurial, had different mindsets around these things and certainly had similar goals and ambitions as to what I wanted to achieve. I had to start to have different practices and habits. I started to meditate more, to focus more, to teach myself to be more present, to not think about the past or the future. And then I also used to um, and still do have, have daily um, you know, aspirations around things which would be like, uh, what we call incantations or affirmations. And what those two things are, they're slightly different, but what those two things are is effectively reprogramming your belief set around a certain set of actions. So you might have an affirmation that you say every day that is, you know, I am good enough, or it might be something like, all I want to achieve is, is within me now. One of the ones that I say um, when I go running in the mornings is be grateful, be brave, have faith show up. And a lot of those things are helping my psychology my subconscious mind change to adapt so that anything that's limit, limiting me in terms of what I want to achieve is getting eradicated by that daily practice. So it can sound a little bit odd, but the truth of the matter is if you have limiting beliefs and they are causing you to not get to where you want to get to, then you have to do something about it. They're just not going to go away by themselves. And as I said, it's the single biggest issue challenge that I find when I start working with someone who's not getting to where they want to be in business. And once you start to practice these things, once you start to get some discipline and a bit more commitment and certainly some routine, then you start to see these things improve massively. So I hope this kind of hits you today. If you're sitting there thinking, perhaps I'm not where I need to be, maybe ask yourself the question, is that because of limiting beliefs? 
And is there something that you need to address now and ongoing so that you can eradicate those areas, start to get confidence back, start to get that conviction back, and then be back on the pathway of building the life and the business that you deserve. Thank you.